a Brown University robe. Uh, this is for this is an honorary French degree. Um, this is I was once the marshal for the medical school commencement in the 70s. It's not a masquerade ball, it's not a black mass, and it's not Halloween. But sometimes commencement season can seem a little bit like them all. These are the colors of the University of London, and the bordering indicates uh, the degree, which is in history, English history, actually. It's the head of the universities in, in Spain, of all the doctors of universities. It's amusing, a little embarrassing, but anyway, it does look like a lampshade, doesn't it? Each year, in late spring, students and faculty around the world prepare to take part in a tradition more than 800 years old, donning traditional caps and gowns, ritual items born at Europe's earliest universities. But what's the meaning behind the getup? The variety, the peculiar symbols? Is there a message in all these fabrics and colors? I don't know why the hat's this shape, but it's, it's the hat, and okay. so it's right, no problem what I wear. According to UCLA's Brian Copenhaver, an expert on the subject of academic regalia, there is. And the best place to start looking is the graduation hood. The academic hood tells the person who looks at it which degree you have. For the undergraduate degree, there's no hood at all. And then there's sort of a small hood for the master's degree. And for the PhD, there's a big, very, very colorful hood. That hood has colors on it in two different places. On one side of the hood, there's a patch uh, on both sides of velvet. And then on the other side, there's some large patches of silk. The silk patches are the colors of the, of the institution, the university that gave the degree. So in the case of UCLA, those would be blue and gold. The other patch, the, the velvet part, tells you what kind of degree it is. So in the case of many people who are faculty at UCLA, that degree is called Doctor of Philosophy, and that velvet patch is dark blue. Traditionally black, the graduation gown has been subject to colorful makeovers in recent years, and many universities are now using the robes as an opportunity to show school spirit. If you went back about to around World War II, um, I think that pretty much all the academic robes that you see would be black. And then some universities started to make fashion statements. So all that color in the robes is a phenomenon really of about the last 25 years. Before that, it was pretty drab. As for the graduation cap, also known as a mortarboard, it's one of the more diverse aspects of the graduation ensemble. But despite so many varieties available, the differences are much more a matter of fashion than meaning, and are generally a decision left up to the individual institution or graduate. And what about the tradition of turning the tassel? Well, according to UCLA's Henry A. Kelly, this is another recent addition. It's probably based on this silly pun about leaving college. You have left college, and that's the basis of it. Uh, and it probably uh, goes, goes back no further than that. You know, it's probably no, long, no more than 40, 50 years. It might not be eight centuries old, but Kelly, at least, is in support of this new tassel-turning tradition. I think it's hilarious, and uh, it should be continued. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful new tradition. And uh, I'm left-handed myself, and I've always really resented uh, people who uh, resent the left hand. I've always been proud of being a left hand, uh, a left-hander. I actually think that I am superior to right-handed people by the very fact that I'm left-handed. And anything that will come along and praise and privilege the left, I'm in favor of. <laughs> okay, let's review. Undergrads wear your basic cap and gown. Depending on your university, this outfit could come in a variety of colors. But most likely, it will be the standard black. For a master's degree, it's not going to be much different, except for the possible addition of a small colored hood worn on the back of the gown. And the PhD? Well, you're looking at that nice hood all the faculty seem to rock at graduation. The silk portion will sport the institution's colors, and the velvet represents the degree being received. Blue for philosophy, green for medicine, and purple for law. And what about all that extra stuff, like ropes, gold chains, and lampshades? Well, you might have to be given an honorary degree, be a chancellor, or just go to a university with a unique taste and style. So there's the quick primer. 
but don't be surprised if you spot something you've never seen before, because when it comes to these outfits, this is one tradition that is definitely evolving.